Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a flip through of Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 2 from Apologia. If you caught my curriculum choice video for my second grader, you would have seen that this is the math program we're going to be using next year for him. And we used level one this year and loved it so much. I do already have a flip through of level one on my channel. I'll be sure to link it below for you. But this is level two. And so I thought I would share with you kind of the inside look of this. Um, it comes with two books. You have your teacher's guide and your student book. And the teacher's guide has all of the answers, obviously, um, but it also has the screenshots of the pages that your child will be doing. So this is a complete copy of what they're seeing in their student book, which I love that visual because I'm a very visual person. It really helps me see what they're doing and I love that the answers are written in there for me. So I can just look at the problem and see exactly how it was done and the answer for it. The teacher's guide also has some teaching tips as well, talking about different tips and tricks on the lessons. Like if their child is having trouble with a practice problem, have him act them out with a base 10 blocks, physically moving the ones over, etc. cetera. Um, different exceptions you can make for kids who might be struggling with something or not wanting to do something a certain way. And the teacher's guide also has all of the student activity sheets in the back. So these are all the sheets that you'll use for a lot of the activities. Not every activity requires one of these sheets, um, but a lot of them do. And you can just tear them out of here or you also have the option of printing them off of the website, which the instructions to do that are in the front of the book. So I always choose to print them just because I don't like ripping this book apart. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I always print them and it's not a big deal. I just print the week's worth of activity pages. I look ahead and see what we need. And it's really simple. So um, the teacher's guide also has a really helpful little schedule here in the in the front so it is scheduled to be a four day a week curriculum which is actually how we use it we like the four day a week and it has the nice little check boxes for those who like to check things off I know a lot of people do but yeah it has it all laid out perfectly straightforward for you the student book is so beautiful it's so well done it's very colorful and engaging and I love it Here's the table of contents in the student book. So this is broken down to show you exactly what they will be covering in this level. So unit one is number, sense, and place value, and they're covering all of these topics. Um, unit two is addition and subtraction with two digit numbers, and they're covering all of these uh, subjects here, all these different chapters. Do, 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 subtracting. Money and time is unit three. Addition and subtraction with three digit numbers, measurement and data, uh, lots of different kinds of measuring, and then unit six is geometry. So, yeah, that's kind of the layout. You can pause this video if you want to take a, a better look at what is involved, but that is a level two for you in a nutshell. One thing that I really love about Apologia's math curriculum is how it relates math to our creator and the world and how math relates to the world and I love that so much so in this one is seeing our creator in place value and then it gives you kind of like a little history lesson here about the ancient Egyptians and Roman numerals and all of this stuff which is pretty cool um, and these are always at the beginning of each unit they are not in every chapter or anything just the units so if you are a secular family using this curriculum you could just skip that part and still be able to use the rest of it for the most part um, and then every lesson typically begins almost every lesson not every single one but most of them begin with an activity first and they're very simple activities uh, they don't need a lot of supplies like for this one for the first one you just need paper pencil a timer colored pencils and the activity sheet for lesson one so let's look and see what that activity sheet is back here for lesson one 
So we're going to flip back here. This is the lesson one activity sheet. It's just like a chart kind of situation here. So you would have that and then these supplies and then it will give you instructions of what to do for the activity. And then here is their lesson practice for lesson one. And they give you a little challenge one, which is kind of fun. And then it moves into lesson two. And here's the activity for lesson two. You need base 10 blocks and the hundreds chart that's in the back of the answer key. And here's how you do that. Um, sometimes in the activities, they have spots to fill stuff in, like in lesson, in activity practice here. And then they have the real lesson all laid out here for you and then the student practice. So for lesson two, they're practicing here and to this page. And something that I do really appreciate about the layout of the pages is how clean it looks, how much space there is. So I really love that everything is really large. I love that there's, there's a lot of space between things. It doesn't seem all squished together, scrunched together, especially when you get into the older levels um, where they're gonna have to be solving equations. There's a lot of room and space for the most part for working out the problems, which I seriously appreciate. Here's an example of another activity for lesson three. You need paper and pencil. Talking about expanded form, here's their lesson practice is front and back. Super simple. Um, I find that the lesson length is perfect. It never stretches my child too much. I feel like it's, it's like a really good sweet spot on length and I love that. Something else that I've noticed with using this math curriculum for a whole year now is that they have multiple lessons on the same concept and they teach it in different ways. But there's multiple ways of doing one thing and your child can kind of pick what they like the best, what comes easiest to them, what makes the concept click for them, and then they can do the problems that way. And I love that they show you different ways because not every kid's brain works the same way. Here's another example of a really fun lesson, like making a paper plate clock. Like how fun is that with telling time? Something else they really like to do is incorporate snacks and food, which is like <laughs> perfect because if you're a homeschool mom, you know how many snacks kids eat every single day. And if you can add snacks to a math concept, it makes it 12 times more fun and engaging. So snacks for the win for math. So here's an example of one of the unit projects. So these come at the end of a unit. So after all of those chapters, each unit, but this one is for three, for unit three, and this is make your own catalog. So you need coins, flyers and magazines for pictures, scissors, paper, glue, tape, stapler, and then it gives you instructions. And so basically they're making this cute little catalog with different prices of things it looks like to show that they can uh, do money things, which is super fun. I love the projects because it really showcases what they learned and gives them like a way of showing you that they mastered something without it just being like a test. And it's really fun and hands-on and my kids love when it's a project day. This is another unit project. This is unit four and you're planning a party. And so basically you're showing them how to budget. So it looks like they're giving you a budget of $300. They gave you the prices of things and yeah, you have to, to figure out how to stay in budget, but plan a really nice party, which is kind of a really cool, very um, real life kind of a project, which I like. So inside the teacher's guide, there's also, if you go to the back of the book, a master supply list. So these are all the supplies you need for this level, for the whole curriculum. And I get asked a lot how involved the activities are. And to be honest, they're super simple. I never feel overwhelmed by setting up an activity. I never feel like um, stressed out because I don't have the objects or anything like that. Like most of the things, as you can see here, are really normal things. Paper, colored pencils, glue, scissors, paper clips. They have some specific snacks listed um, and then base 10 blocks, Lincoln cubes, and 3D shape solids, and pattern blocks. Those are some things that you would probably have to buy separately, uh, or especially if you didn't have them already. Um, 
But a lot of this stuff is just normal for the most part. Dot stickers, tape measure, Play-Doh, googly eyes, little paper cups, funnel, potting mix would be something maybe separate that I would have to get. And then look, there's some snack recipe things in here. So really not a whole ton of really special, special items. They're very normal. And the activities, like I said, they don't take a lot of time to set up or anything. Um, so I wouldn't be scared about that if you're somebody that doesn't love um, activities. They're really simple. Like a lot of the activities have Uno cards involved. Um, so you'd have your, your Uno cards and then like the little game board in the back and you play like a little simple game. So it's really not, not a lot of prep. I just look ahead on Sunday. I look ahead for the week and I see if there's anything that I need to get special. And I also look to see what activity sheets I have to print and I print those out ahead of time so that they're all ready. But these are, I, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this curriculum. It's so much fun um, and it works really well for both my kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a look inside Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 2 from Apologia. If you have any other questions about the curriculum, something I didn't answer or talk about in this video, feel free to leave those down below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. I will link the curriculum down below for you as well. I also have a discount code that they're so generous to provide me with. So if you want to use that, you can. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.